Hey everybody, I'm Larry Trexer with Sim Products, and today I'm here to talk to you about Sim's new and improved Rocket Liner. Rocket Liner is a two component catalyzed system that's designed to add texture, chemical, and corrosion resistance, as well as sound dampening, to your truck beds. The new and improved version adds durability and extra texture and gloss. Rocket liner can be used on painted metal and aluminum as well as wood and concrete and comes available in two different versions, a black version and a tenable version. Before applying a bed liner, you always want to make sure and pressure wash the surface first and then make sure it's completely dry before you begin. Now I'm going to show you just how simple it is to protect your truck bed using rocket liner. The first step is we're going to go in here and we're going to clean the truck bed with SimSov. SimSov is our wax and grease remover for paint and bare metal surfaces. We're going to come in and we're going to sand the truck. Now you have two options for sanding the truck. You can just use regular sandpaper in which we would recommend a 180 grit to 220 grit sand scratch or you can use a bed brush uh, that attaches to the buffer so you can do that as well. One of the most important parts is you're going to need a dust mask. So we finished sanding the truck, we've blown it off with air, and when we did that, we also noticed that we had a couple of small spots of bare metal that were showing. We used high bill primer surfacer to go down onto that bare metal. If you have any rust that is present, you're going to need to grind that away as well. If you have large areas of bare metal that are showing, then you're going to want to use a product like Metal Lock uh, Epoxy Primer or World Class DTM Primer. Now before we actually get to the sanding step, and hit some of these small areas, we're going to go ahead and tape it up first and then take the red scuff pad and come back and sand it up to the edge of the masking tape. It's important that when you're taping the truck to remember that as soon as you're done spraying the bed liner, you're going to need to unmask everything immediately. So keep that in mind while you're placing your tape so that you can make sure to get to everything to pull it off. This new version of Rocket Liner comes with a gun inside of the box. The difference between this gun and the old one is that it has a new tip on it that optimizes the atomization of the product. That's extremely important when you're spraying bed liners. And also another uh, important thing is to make sure that you apply it in multiple coats. Each coat, you're going to give about 15 to 20 minutes in between flash times, and your first coat should get about 50% coverage. When you're spraying bed liner, as you can see here, my first coat I applied to the side walls of the truck bed. I'll let that sit. I didn't put any down on the floor. That way it allows me to get back up inside of the truck while I'm spraying the second coat. The second coat I'll put along the side walls as well. And this time after I'm finished with the walls, I'll put my first coat down on the floor as I walk myself out of the truck. The rest of the bed liner from then that point forward is sprayed from the outside of the truck just making sure that you get everything coated. As you can see, the truck bed is now complete and we're beginning to untape it. And you need to do that immediately, as we said before. Um, and then after about 24 to 48 hours, you can put it in the normal wear and tear service. We shot this full size pickup truck with one kit of rocket liner. For larger or smaller jobs, we also have individual courts available. The new and improved Rocket Liner provides increased gloss, texture, and durability. With Sim Rocket Liner, the truck looks great and is ready for everyday wear and tear. Sim is the right choice.